Hey, this is Mr. Soy, and once again, we're going to look at how we can use our calculator to convert from standard form to factored form to vertex form of a quadratic. So I've got a standard form equation right here, which I put in my y1. I just hit y equal and then entered the equation. And now I'm going to hit zoom standard, which is number six. And that's going to show the quadratic that I have. And what I'm looking to do is to create the equations for both the factored form and the vertex form using my graph. So I can see already that I have two zeros right here, the x-intercept. Looks like it's at x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 3. And then I also have my vertex down here. Looks like maybe it's x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 2. But we're going to use the features of our calculator to actually find those explicitly. And then we can build the equations off of that. We're going to start with the factored form. So we've got our vertex, we've got our standard form now. We're going to create the factored form by finding the zeros, the r1, r2, our roots. And to do that, I'm going to hit the second button and the trace button in the upper right, which gives me this calculate menu. And I'm going to want number two, zero. So I select that. And again, it's going to ask me left bound, right bound for each one. So I'm going to move my little cursor to the other side because I'm going to find this first one right here, first zero, and hit enter and then it wants the right side. So again, I'm building that channel which it's going to use to look for where the function has an output of zero. So I hit enter and it says guess. We don't need to guess. Just hit enter again. And there we go. Our first one is indeed at x equals negative three. Okay, good. That confirms what we've been seeing on the graph. I'm going to run it again and this time I'm going to find the second point right here second zero, so second trace, number two, zero, and again, left bound, I can just do it right there, I don't need to actually move it closer, I usually do, but you don't need to, and then the right side right there is good, and hit enter, and there it is, and so my two zeros are x equals negative one, and x equals negative 3. So now I can actually create the graph or the equation and graph it that is in factored form. So you might recall that when we're essentially looking at each of the different forms, the leading coefficient, which in this case you can see is a 2, the 2x two squared, that's the leading coefficient, is going to be the same in all of the other forms. So I can immediately put a 2 there. And then now I'm going to put in my roots. Well, it was x equals negative 1, x equals negative 3. But remember, in our factored form, it's x minus r1 times x minus r2. That negative tells us that it's the opposite sign. So in this case, I'm actually going to put x plus 1, and then close my paren, and then the next one, x plus 3. Because again, I want the opposite sign of the actual zeros that we found. Now when I hit graph, you can see that the factored form is going to graph in red. When I hit graph, I'm going to see the first one, the standard form in blue, and then the second one, the factored form in red, and you'll see that it actually traces out the blue one. So hit, hit graph again. There's our blue one, and you can see the red one traces out exactly that blue one, showing that indeed these are the same quadratic just in two different forms. So I've basically created my factored form by finding my zeros and plugging it into the factored form equation format. Okay, so then the last one we need to find then is our vertex form. And so the vertex form, all I have to do is find my vertex, which is the, in this case, since this parabola opens up, the vertex is going to be this point right here. Again, I think it's at negative two, negative two, but we're going to use our calculator to find it explicitly. Once again, I'm going to hit second, trace, takes me into the calculate menu, and this time I want to find three minimum, 
because it's opening up, it's going to be the minimum point on our parabola. Okay, now it's going to ask the same questions, left bound, so I just need to move this guy to the left side of my vertex. That's good. And then right bound, I just need to move him back over to the right side of the vertex. Enter. And then finally, guess, I'm just going to hit enter. And there we go. And in fact, it is exactly where we thought it was, at negative 2, negative 2. Now the x, okay, remember the x, that's the h. And the form of our quadratic equation in vertex is x minus h. So we're going to use the opposite sign of the x for our h, but the k will stay negative 2. Now we can put that equation in our calculator. So hit y equal, and I'm going to scroll down, and the leading coefficient will be the same, 2, and then I'm going to do my parentheses, x minus h quantity square. Well, h, the actual h that we found, the actual x value of our vertex was negative 2, so x minus that would be x plus 2. Then I'll close my parentheses, and then I'm going to square that. And then the k is negative 2, and that stays the same, so minus 2. And now I've got all three forms of this one quadratic graphing and you'll see the blue, the red, and then finally the black, and it will trace out exactly the same path because they're the, the same quadratic equation. Here we go. And there's the black tracing out, and in fact, we are done because we now have shown that I can use my calculator to convert from standard to factored and to vertex. And the nice thing about that is if I'm given it in factored form, well, I can also use that to find the vertex form. And if I'm given it in vertex form, well, I can also use this to find my zeros and find my factored form. So it's a really nice, easy way to convert from one form of a quadratic to another form of a quadratic. Thanks.